Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kids at Hope pledge. I'm a kid at hope. I trust this smart and capable success. I dream to the future of one of the world every day. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Hello, <laughs> little Indian. This is Miss Henson and Belle. She doesn't know about social distancing, but we wanted to say hello and tell you that we're thinking about you, we miss you, and we are really proud of our group hard work to keep up your education while you're at home. Hi everyone, it's Miss Fletcher. I hope you guys are all doing well. I just wanted to pop on and tell you a little riddle. What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? What do you call that dinosaur that's sleeping? A dinosaur! You guys, we miss you. We love you. We hope to be back at BBE, the place to be. Take care, and we love you. Hi, this is Mr. Trumbull with your dad joke of the day. Why wouldn't the shrimp share its treasure? Well, he was feeling a little shellfish. Hi, VBE families. This is Mrs. Connolly here, just saying good morning and hope that you all are doing well. I want to give you your joke for the day. Why did the students eat their homework? Hmm, because the teacher told them it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Please reach out to any of us if you need any support with anything. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, Mr. Keen here. Getting my workout in, you know, we're home more. So we're not as active as we are when we're at school with recess and PE and just moving around more. So make sure you're doing some stuff at home, whether you're doing some burpees, push-ups, sit-ups, stuff in your living room even. Get, keep using that circulatory system, making sure that blood's flowing. You know, when I'm exercising, my respiratory system, my lungs and everything start really working hard. Why is that? I'm trying to get oxygen into my in my uh, body so that I keep going. But if I breathe my lungs, why is my heart bleeding so hard? Well, I'm getting all that oxygen in, but it's just in my lungs. I gotta get it throughout my body to the muscles. So what is happening, what helps out? The heart and the circulatory system. So that heart is pumping and pumping. And it's getting all that blood, getting new oxygen in the blood, and it's pumping it all throughout the body so that I can keep going, that I can keep exercising. That's just one way that our respiratory system and our circulatory system work together to keep us moving. So. Think about that. Make sure you're moving around a little bit. Don't just sit on the couch too much. Whether you're jumping around a little bit, wrestling with brother or dad, do something to keep active, get that heart pumping, make sure those lungs are breathing good. Bye guys, we'll see you. The story today is, hey, that's my monster. The narrator runs back and forth from his room to his sisters, jumping over obstacles to keep his toes out of reach. Try creating an obstacle course of your own, whether inside or outside, and create a map of all the different things you can jump over, under, climb over, or run around. Once you've drawn and labeled your map, go ahead and run the obstacle course. You can even have your siblings do it too if you have some. I hope you have a great time today and don't forget to share your map and your videos. It's your principal and lead learner, Miss Emerson. And just your daily reminder, if nobody told you today that they love you, know that I love you every day, always and forever. Make it a great day or not, little Indians, the choice is yours. I hope you make it a great day.